I have never done this before, so I don't like advocate for it. We need to go shopping. Okay. Yeah. Um, Elsie, that's a little too much makeup there. <laughs> oh, I'm dying right now. You look so cute. I have the baby. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody, get get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. enough Nelson's today's video is gonna be so much fun. I have like just recently made a discovery. All of my older kids went to camp. They went on a road trip alone, which is so fun. You guys have to watch that video right here. They're having a blast, but they left home all of these other kids who I normally call the littles. And I am just kind of discovering that they are getting older and they might have to be the new middles. It's gonna kind of be my older kids are like Lily down. And then I think at Paisley down, they used to be the littles. I think now they're the middles. And so today I thought it would be so fun to take the new middles and kind of just give them like a tween makeover and show them kind of all the fun things that happen when you go through the teenage years. We're gonna learn how to shave. We're gonna take them to get a little bit of makeup and kind of learn how to apply that in kind of a natural, pretty way. We're gonna talk about nutrition a tiny bit. And I have a special gift to give them at the end. I have never done this before, so I don't like advocate for it or anything, but I have a cute friend who does like eyelash tinting and brow tinting and she had the fun idea while the older kids were gone that I bring them middle and we do like a lash and brow party. So we're gonna go do that and have a ton of fun. And then I will come back here and I will tell the girls all of the fun stuff that we are gonna do today. So let's get started with that. Here we go. What do you think about all these lashes and brows for Pete's sake? Holy cow, wow. Becky, look at those brows because they are gorgeous. They're gorgeous anyway, but it's fun to like just add a little bit of color to what you already have yeah. and so fun. And what's fun for that is during the summertime when you guys go swimming and do all these activities, you'll just have these beautiful lashes and brows and not ever have to do anything you know without it. I'm jealous, to be honest. I wish mine were like that. Anyway, okay, so, so fun for the next step, guys. We are going to go to lunch. Ooh. Then we are going to go shopping. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And would you like to know where we're gonna go shopping? Yes. It's a little place called Ulta. I don't know if you've heard of it. Oh, Have you heard of it? I before? love Ulta. <laughs> Some of my kids who are like really into makeup, they wish we would go there every day. Some of them have never set foot in there, but it will be super fun. Um, we are going to go to get some specific items, some hygiene items, a few little makeup items. I know exactly and what I'm guys, getting. Today I'm going to teach you how to officially shave your legs. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, so some of you have shaved once or twice before. I but have. We're gonna kinda go I through and get all the supplies for it so we can know how to do it carefully and without oh, yeah. accident. And so hopefully that will help them. We're also gonna talk about a little bit to do with nutrition. We're gonna talk a little bit about just some other things. You're gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna give you a little tween makeover. Are you excited? Yeah. 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 All right, let's go. Like you don't really want to know Hey, you laughed me in the face When I said you could replace All of the things that you're so through with You're afraid to feel your feelings When the night turns into day But sometimes they're the realest things to ever come your way Cause you know 
here at Ulta, each one of you take one of these baskets. This is how it's going to work. You guys get to choose three items, okay? So one of them needs to be for skincare, like hygiene and skincare. One of them can be for like a makeup product, like lips or cheek blush, something like that. And then the other thing is you need to go pick out your shaver and your like shaving cream. Okay. That's gonna be yours, okay? All right, here we go. So Delaney, this is your first time in the store, right? For you? Yes. All right, so this stuff right here is like skincare line called Drunk Elephant. Kind of a crazy name, I know. If you were gonna choose something, what would you think would be the best? Do you get dry skin or is your skin pretty normal? I think I might get cleanser. They have micellar water. Looks like they have jelly cleanser back there like this. Which one are you thinking? Probably jelly. Jelly cleanser. Perfect. Um, Elsie, that's a little too much makeup there. Oh. I'm gonna get this and then um, I, I already have that and then I'm gonna give these two to Paisley and then we go ask the counter and we said, can we get the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops? Me and Elsie both got that and so we're up there. That's gonna be your us. makeup product yeah. is Bronzing Drops? All right. Wait, which one should I get? The yellow, purple, mm -hmm. or I don't know. That's so fun. Ooh. The difference is the smell. This is pink citrus, lavender, Ooh, pomegranate. I need Mom, this is gonna be a good shaver. That one's nice because it looks like it has a protector they're, all the way around no, it. Yeah, they have protectors all the way around it. I got it for me and Elsie because we're not the best at shaving. So there's these right here. This one has like um, kind of like a moisturizing thing at the top. And then there's this purple one down here. Which one are you thinking? This one. Perfect. And then these are different kinds of like shaving cream. There's pink citrus, lavender, pomegranate, raspberry, Ooh. and vanilla bliss. Ooh, yeah, that one smells good. This one also looks really nice. Presley found- I just want the bigger one. This shaving cream, that mm -hmm. looks super nice. It's cool, a lot of people have been using it, but I wanna find a bigger version. All right, well, let's bring that one and try it. Get this. What is it? Charcoal whitening toothpaste. Ooh, sure, for one of your hygiene items, yes. Yeah. This right here. Oh, there's only these ones. Highlighters. Right. We're gonna see what Elsie has chosen. Elsie, what have you chosen? Oh, oh I can see me and the one got the same stuff. Okay, like, so this like junk elephant moisturizer stuff. Okay, so it's got like all the six top ones. Okay. Makeup. Let's like, see what you got here. And then this is lipstick. This, not lipstick, so, but lipstick. so this is actually a lip plumper, which you don't need because it kind of ends up hurting your lips a little bit. What do you put on oh, that? Put some on it. Yeah. Oh, oh. You're like, woo, I'm fire. This girl is on fire. I'll just get something else. Okay. Shaving. Shaving stuff. Then, Perfect. Like, stuff. You need like hair stuff, and I'm like, um. Okay. Do you already have a detangling brush? No, this is oh. my first ever brush ever. All right. All right, Lainey June, what did you get? First, I got the same kit as Elsie. With all of the different Drunk Elephant products? Okay. Yes. Shaving cream. Nice. Some mouthwash. Mouthwash, perfect. Some toothpaste. Awesome, I love all the hygiene products, that's awesome. And a shaver. A shaver, perfect, and then what's down there? Oh some Aquaphor. Aquaphor lip gloss, that's perfect. Next we have Paisley. So we're having a little overboard. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So this is the shaver that I got in okay. the shaver cream. And then dry shampoo, because I don't have any and I ran out and I need this. Dry shampoo is really nice. Like if your hair gets greasy and you don't have time to shampoo your hair, yeah. just put that in the roots and brush it. And then I already have this, but it's really good and I really like it. What is it? It's eye cream. Oh, like an eye cream, like yeah. a moisturizer. Okay, so that can count as a face product or skincare product. Mm. You think you got a little and too then much the stuff here? Acid as also a skin product. <gasps> All right. And then the Oflex lash serum. Oh. I've been trying to grow my eyelashes out, and I just ran out of my baby blush. So this helps your eyelashes grow. Yeah. So it's okay. I'll think about that. This isn't just for me. This is for our whole family. 
We just ran out of this. So okay. Like really and then this is an after table from that I want to try to Okay. So I just got this for like the family. But it's important to use this like with a little bit of sunscreen yeah. underneath it so you don't get sunburns. And then the honest laws you clean bronzer because this is what I was going to use for my actual like makeup product. Okay, so that's like a bronzer for your makeup yeah. product? Okay. And then this mouthwash. That's really good. Mouthwash. Good mouthwash. All right. less bony when they go straight. For me, I like to bend it completely oh, as hard yeah. as I can. Then go very careful over those ankle bones. Yeah. First of all, put on the shaving cream. All right, everybody apply your shaving cream. This is the one that I got, the coconut one. I'm so excited to use it. Normally I was just doing this like in the tub or in the shower. Oh, yeah. And then you can use the water from the shower, but sometimes it helps to add a little bit of water I to would... the cream and it just like move it all around nice and loud. Start at the very bottom, Elsie, and you're going to want to slowly work your way up. Good job. See, so you got all Ew. that hair. Ew, don't show it. That's okay. Everyone has hair. So normally you would rinse this out in the shower. You could just like put it up into the shower in the tub, but I'm going to rinse this out in the sink because we're all done. All right, I'm getting to go over my knee right now. Wish me luck. Slow and continuous yeah, yeah, and careful. Right. You can't jab at it. So nice and smooth. You see how you feel that little ligament under there? Kind of holds your skin tight. So you want to either go, like make sure just it's not poking out super far. So kind of bend it just a little bit. And see how it's poking out? Now make it straightened. Straighten your leg as far as you can. Now it's not poking out at all. So you want to make sure your leg is straight when you do back there. Start at the base and work my way up. Almost like when you wash the table, you do sections. So if you jump around in sections, you might forget parts. So if you start out on the far side, I start on the far side of my leg, start all the way down, clear down here at your ankle, where it starts, the hair starts right there at your ankle. And you do all that. As soon as you notice that no hair is coming off, you always want to rinse it out and get it all clean to start back over. Oh yeah. And sometimes I do make it. Okay guys, we are going to finish shaving up our legs and then we'll be right back. All right, we are finishing the last leg. Always shave upwards, never Only sideways. Up. I love these shavers. I have helped now, let's see, 11 daughters learn how to shave their legs. These ones that come with the soap around the edges, they really help it so that it's a little harder to get cut. So they're yeah. really good for beginners, in my opinion. So but these ones are not, because these are sharp. And those ones are pretty sharp. You gotta kind of be like a little bit of an intermediate to pro shaver to use that. I got this from Ulta for after shaving instead of getting shaving cream. And so now I'm just gonna apply it to my legs. And I love this smell. It's a coconut smell. So it smells amazing. It smells amazing. And I got the coconut like shaving stuff too. So it smells perfect to yeah. All right, guys, we are all shaved and smooth and smelling good. Smelling good. It's so fun to learn how to and shave, huh? It's kind of like one of those rite of passages, like becoming a woman. Yes. Yes. We're going to talk about nutrition really quick and I really simple. I'm not a nutritionist, but this is what I have learned in my 48 years. <laughs> On the back of packages, yeah. you will see these, these labels, right? On yeah. the back of packages. Now let me tell you something. If it's something that doesn't have a package, most likely it is healthy. If mm -hmm. it's like a fruit or a vegetable, does it come yeah. with a package? No. No. What we're talking about is these pre-packaged things and how to kind of be able to tell if something's not healthy or healthy. Because these are both in 
shiny, bright packages, right? Well, on the back, it tells you lots of things, and these are the things that I want you to notice. I want you to notice, the first of all, the very first ingredient. What is the very first ingredient? Corn, corn syrup. syrup. And? Sugar. Sugar. And? Corn syrup. Okay, so lots of corn syrup is, is actually kind of a form of sugar. Yeah. And sugar. sugar. Right? <laughs> so whatever is the very first few ingredients are what it's mostly. Yeah, the main part of what it's oh. This right here, Whole what's grain. the first ingredient? Whole, Whole grain, grain brown, brown rice flour. flour. Whole grain, that means it's good. healthier. It's better for you. Yeah. That's whole grain. It takes more work for your body to break it up, and it's really good. It stays in your system, does lots of good things. Mm -hmm. Sugar, it doesn't take a lot, and it doesn't, it's not great. It will your get body. you calories. It will get you calories. Also, what I love to look at is the serving size. Three healthy. pieces is 110 calories. For 16 of these, is 120 calories. And so calorie rise, they're about the same, but this will make you feel more full, it's yeah. better for your body, and it will give you more nutritious value. That's the, that's the thing that's hard, nutritious value, okay? So, this one over here, it doesn't have any fat, so you're like, oh, that won't make me fat, but guess what? Fat actually isn't as bad for you as you would think. There are healthy fats, and so, like some salmon has a lot of healthy fat in what it. What steak? Steak, yeah, that has fats in it, and those are, like the same Pork. as, yeah, but there's good fats, like fats from like avocados, nuts and seeds, mm -hmm. and salmon and stuff like that. Those are really good for you fats, okay? And so both of these don't have a lot of fat. This has zero fat too. Oh, it has 4.5 grams of fat. The next thing to jump down to is protein. This one has two grams of protein. That's really good. That good. This has zero pro grams of protein. Oh. That just means the amount. It's the mountain. Mm -hmm. And protein is really good for you because the, what do your muscles need? Protein. To grow big. To grow big. Yes. And so one thing that I have just always stick to, you think that 16 pieces, if you can try to only eat 16 pieces of this, that is a good serving. You don't have to eat 16 pieces. What should you mostly listen to when you're eating? You the should bread. listen. And when it's full, it's should you keep full. going? No. Or no. should you stop? Stop. Stop. And when it's not. It's still hungry, then you've got to keep eating. Yes, you've got to learn how to listen to your body and learn how to listen to what your body wants. Like, it's not it's not bad if you're like, you know what, I'm really not in the mood for I'm a, a steak. I'm really in the mood for broccoli. It's important that you listen to that because that means a lot of times that your body might need exactly what is in the broccoli. I'm always in the mood for so, steak. Though. I know. <laughs> but your body <laughs> might need protein. That's why it be right. So it's always good to think and listen to your tummy yeah. and listen to your mind. What am I craving right now? Because a lot of times if you're craving things, sugar is not the best thing to crave, but if you're craving any other food, especially like a fruit or a vegetable, there's probably something in that that your body needs a vitamin or nutrients it needs, all right? Okay. This is a good time to start learning to take care of your body and listen to your body and stop when you're full because this is a good time, like just as you go through maturation and so forth, it's just good to feel healthy and to feel yeah. happy and proud of your body. Yeah. Another thing that I want you guys to know is the number on a scale. Does it matter? It doesn't matter as much as a lot of people think it does. Sadly, a lot of us like, we get on the scale and we think, oh no, we weigh 100 and whatever we weigh, whatever, and we get nervous, right? And we think, oh, that must mean that I'm, that's not anything. Everybody's bodies are different. Everybody's bones weigh different. Everybody's muscles weigh different. Everybody's like the liquid in your body, that all of that is what your weight is. And so I don't want you to ever worry about what you weigh on the scale. Okay. Because okay. that's just that's just a crazy thing to think about because everybody's bodies are so different. So that's one thing that I really think that is important to tell kids, especially as they're going through those preteen and teen years, is it doesn't matter what the scale says. It matters how you feel and that you're taking good care of your body. All right? All right, now let's go over to our mini makeup.
right, we are going to go, have, we have one last present, like one last gift. Okay. Rite of passage item discussion we have okay. to have. So let's go to get a treat. I got strawberry yumminess over here because it's a little more quiet than inside of the store. So I wanted to give you guys something really special. I'm giving you guys these cute little necklaces. If you read the necklace, what does it say, Delaney? Go, go and be. Go and be. You guys are going to be teenagers very, very soon. And a lot of times the world tells you what you should be. They, they tell you what they think is pretty and what they think is smart and what they think is strong and all of these other things. If you ever think to yourself, something about this situation does not feel right. Something about it doesn't feel good inside. Or you're making a decision that's a really important decision. I want you to put your hand right here in the middle of your chest. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think what your true self, the true version of you feels. And it will answer so many questions for you. All right, and you're gonna wear this necklace and so you can always just grab this necklace that's on your chest and you can think to yourself, what is the true version of me? And what is the answer to this question that I have? And you'll be able to figure it out. So guys, I know that today we had a lot of fun with makeup and hair and all the fun stuff, but I just wanted you to know that none of that really matters. You are all so beautiful in your own special way and you don't need all of that stuff to make you beautiful. You already are beautiful. Who you are, your spirit that is inside of you is the most beautiful of all. Yours are coming up. Are you guys all still going to be nice to your mom? Yes. <laughs> oh, of course. And when you have a decision to make, what are you going to do? Show me. And you're going to close your eyes. And you're going to think about what the true version of yourself it's, is. What, what the is. answer to that question is. And it will come. Right? I think it's through the Holy Ghost. I think Heavenly Father helps us make our decisions. And when we really, really reflect on the inside of us, we know the answer to almost any question that we have. I know today has been so much fun, right? Yeah. All of the makeup and the hairdos and talking about all the older girl stuff. But I just wanted you guys to know something. Right now you are tweens and tweens is a super fun age to be. So don't rush it. Don't become a teenager overnight. Presley. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.